So it's uh, 2017, and I've been informed that people get offended on the internet. And that was the sound of no one caring. Much like me taking eight inches up the butthole. Yes, this entire video is going to be just eight inch references. So if you're under the age of 18, buckle up. Don't watch this video. I don't need parents messaging me telling me that I'm telling their kids to look up gay porn. Don't fucking do it. So, uh, I played in my first Link format tournament, played True Draco Zoo, and I got 8 inches of pure, unadulterated, full erection of a white man penis up my butthole. Uh, now, you definitely should not Google what gay porn looks like, um, I do not recommend that, and if you are under the age of 18 years old watching this video, why are you here? Well, I'm just going to talk about how I got bent over on the table and just took kaiju dick. Like, I've seen some fucked up furry shit in my day. You're 27 years old, you fucking, you've seen everything. And I was like, oh, cool, you know, we had, well, it was, it was a rather small local. I think we had 12 to 13. That doesn't matter. So I'm gonna be like, oh my god, Ravi, it's fucking irrelevant. You, you're probably right, but I still got kaiju and fucking wrecked all the same. So, I'll do the deck profile sometime later in the week if this video gets some likes. Fucking, please, please support me. Please give this video likes. I would love for nothing more to talk about more zoo deck profiles. Side trick. You want to know what annoys me? People that have to have these loud motherfucking motors on their trucks. Like, are you trying to compensate and say, hey, I have a big penis? Because you ain't got no fucking big penis. I, like, I'm fat. Penis jokes aside... We all right, but shit's annoying. That, that's your reality check. So anyway, zoo link format. Uh, we got fucking wrecked by kaiju's. So I played some OCG nonsense. Fucking think yeah, we we're playing two of the trap card, which is return. Uh, two copies of masterpiece. Three terraforming. Three dragon diagram. Next thing I'm gonna hear, someone's gonna be like, "But Robbie." Well, where the fuck is the Heritage? We didn't play Heritage. We didn't play Dynamite Knuckle. Um, I like to play Zoo Cards. Um, yeah, Dryden, Brabble, Barrage. So the reason I'm so fucking salty is Game 3 I opened up three Ghost Ogres. Two Unknowns. I think it was like Terraforming and Salt Morning. Like, so we were already down. We lost a Dice Roll. And we're like, oh cool, you know, like we're gonna... We're gonna take this huge dick up the asshole game three. I'm like, oh cool, you know, three ghost stokers, you know, we'll we'll go stoker the rap here. And then, you know, sometimes no, always, always. Your opponent always has the fucking goddamn barrage. Doesn't fucking matter. Doesn't fucking matter. You can be as fucking good at this game as you wanna be. Your opponent's always gonna have the fucking barrage. You open up three ghost stokers, opponent's got fucking three barrages. Eight inches, bro. Eight fucking inches. I've never been fucked so hard in my goddamn life. This is why people think that, uh, it's not straight. It's conversations like this. But, the deck ran perfectly outside of that. I was citing Zephyons and Skullmeisters for my matchups against Drew Draco, lol. And the Dinosaurs, but we didn't get to play against the Dino Rars. Just a whole lot of zoo. And losing the dice roll playing True Draco Zoo just sucks a butthole. Um, currently, I think I'm going to put my body back in. Shuffle Reborn It's not needed so much anymore. You know, I also kind of want to put back in Emerald. Like, Emerald's kind of gooey. You know, I, I looked through the internet. I reached out to a lot of players. No one has a fucking goddamn good zoo deck list before fucking the new set. It's ridiculous. I, I seen a couple of booty butt cheek ones on Facebook. They were bad. Now, I, I was considering playing Gofu. I liked Link Spider, Link Spider, Decode Talker. And the internet reassured me that Decode Talker beats Dryden. Well, I was highly disappointed when you can just plow over it. I don't think anyone else has realized that either. Uh, battle phase. Uh, attack. Oh, I have double throw blade. Oh, 
That's fucking disappointing. I'm so sorry for your loss. It's not that fucking hard to beat. I get he's a good card. Oh, oh. we know all too well that he's a good card. But that's besides set point. You know. And Masterpiece is a good card as well until your opponent's main deck in Kaijus and you're just taking 8 inches. Today's theme is just 8 inches. It was only 8 inches, bro. Why couldn't you handle it? It's supposed to be better than that. Two of the trap card was good. You can barrage away the trap card and pop something. That's actually pretty good. I didn't expect that. Currently only playing two Tenki. Tenki sucks butthole. <laughs> uh, someone's going to be like, but Reb, you, you want zoo cards. No. You never want more zoo cards. It's already bad enough. I'm still playing fucking rap here before Mrs. Radiant comes out. Uh, at least it gives you tribute fodder, but we would never want a tribute fodder. I kind of want to put combo back in. I'm on four Solemns and two of the trap card. Yeah, it'd be six traps. I want to put D Barrier back in the main deck. We always want to beat our opponent with skill. I done soded myself. Ugh. Today's sponsor of this video has been brought to you by Arby's. Sometimes you have coupons, sometimes you don't, but you best goddamn have coupons. Are you going to be spending like $20? <sighs> so I went back to taking 8 inches of the butthole. Fucking zoo, man. So, first off, I wanted to say, having the link marker in the center of the mat helps. What doesn't help is when most of your opponents are playing on the paper mat to fuck with you. She ain't going to work. So if you're playing on like a spell ground or a gem play mat and the shit's folded over, well, your link marker is going to be going off the mat. Now don't hesitate to engage with your opponent and put shit on their mat. I'm not saying be a dickhole. I'm saying it's now a little bit more... It's expected that your opponent's going to be doing something. Um, most people, if you ask them, uh, the lineup zones correctly with you. And they're not going to be assholes. I mean, it's at least my local's experience. I'm not too technically worried about that. Outside of that, I think Mark is definitely a good fucking idea. I will quite say that I'm very impressed with that. So, getting angry at your losses is not necessarily a bad thing. Eight inches of the rectum um, will cause some discomfort. Discomfort. I don't know, man. Like, Rap here sucks before Mrs. Radiant comes out. No one's posted any goddamn good deck list. Um, literally before Code of the Duels comes out. That's a solid two-week time, and... The format has slowed down a little bit before code. Sorry to tell you that. Um, a lot of people are like, oh my god, like links are going to slow down the game. You can't make Emerald and I can't make Tornado Dragon. I can't make Dweller anymore. Those are big fuck yous to Zoo. Like, that, that hurts a lot more. And for the temporary time being, I'm stuck playing 15 Zoo named cards. Um, now, that, that brings me to a good point. When do you debarrier a Zoo player now? You wait for them to overlay Hammer Kong, and then you blink their shit. You're just like, oh, oh, oh. So, they like, summon Throw Blade, they're like, no effect. You're like, I hate you. And then you're like, they overlay onto fucking our good friend Hammer Kong. And then you're like, hit hit, be barrier. And then your opponent just stares at you and goes, I fucking hate you, man. It's the best time to debarrier. I did it. Also, appropriate timing to Ghost Ogre. Um,. Don't be less inclined to play around Ogre now. You need to decide if you are going to value the Chalkanine search or if you're going to value the Broad Bowl search. If you're not on rep here. Uh, so decide that. Um, a few people are going to argue that the search is better. A few people are going to be arguing that having Ram Ram on the field is better. That's your decision. I will leave that up to you. Ash Blossom sucks fucking butt. Oh my god, that card's fucking ass. Get out of my fucking main deck. Ghost Ogre's infinitely better. I'm, like, torn on Maxi in the main uh, for the current point in time. I mean, if you draw it, you draw it. If you don't, you don't. <laughs> That's how it works. But fucking Ash Blossom, man. That card's horrible. We never draw Ash Blossom for the desires. You know what Ash Blossom turns into? A target for Diagram. You know what Diagram does? It gets me Masterpiece. <sighs> the Masterpiece wins me the game. Until it gets Jude away. Literally, like, it, I want to, like, and I, it's so offensive. Every every time I, I want a kaiju, I just go, I need a Jew. Kind of like the uh, the Family Guy song. And no, no racial content, like, needed. It's, uh, fucking Family Guy ruined that for me. And every time I need a kaiju, like, we always, 
so bad. You ever just find yourself singing that song? Just just think about me. Just, just think about Family Guy. Think about what it did to you. So that's all I got to say about Zoo. Eight inches, man. If any of you guys get the chance to watch the uh, the feature match, you guys will get to enjoy Sarcastic Robbie just taking it up the butthole. <laughs> yeah, he's so fucking good. Had the barrage. Yeah, I, I, I get salty when I lose. I'm one of the saltiest out there. Especially when you can't control your fucking loss. A variance is a fucking lie. Don't fucking let them lie to you. Fucking three ghost ogres and your opponent opens the barrage. We are never about that life. Deuce the fuck out. Peace. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Card Fight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.